Good evening everyone and thanks for joining me tonight. We're going to have a I'm going to try and make it a brief discussion, but it's a very important market movement we've had today, you know, and you probably know what it's going to be before we actually get into it, okay? So on a case, I've, uh, I've been doing a wee bit of channel maintenance and uh, admin and stuff like that, and uh, I had noticed prior to today that I hadn't done a, a kind of market reaction video for a while, you know, reacting to what's going on in the market and kind of chatting about uh, what's going on, okay? Last kind of time I did it was with, I think it might have been Ronaldo or somebody, but um, what has the market taught us, okay? Now, you've always got to be trying to learn from movements and um, different positions, okay? So I want to give it a wee bit of background before we get into it, okay? I'll make this as brief as I possibly can, okay? But every player that you buy in the index, right, has a value, as of course you will know, okay? Now, the difference at the core of it... Um, between a player that's priced at 25 pence and a player that's priced at 51 pence is quite simply double the amount of money has been purchased by users i.e. me and you and the likes off of the football index you know the company bet index limited uk whatever they're called okay and that is reflective of the price okay we've kind of discussed how much you need to buy to move a penny and all that kind of thing in the past okay so when you're buying into someone, especially somebody who's a bit more expensive, and let's use uh, an example, let's use Nicholas Pepe, right? Because I think he's probably, I'll tell you what, let's just do that highest price. He's the highest price player in the portfolio, right? At £2.68, okay? So if you think about the amount of people and the amount of money that ha are currently holding him as well as I am, then that is what dictates his price being £2.68, okay? Now, what you've got to think about when you're buying players, right, and I've got great examples right up and down even this screen here, okay, is you've got to think, other people who are buying them, other people who are holding them currently, what is their potential motivation, okay? And we go back to the double dip video that we did a few days ago, and I'll link that in the description below, excuse me, if you haven't seen that already, okay? But... That's what the double dip kind of does, is it helps highlight to you how many longer term holders are out there, okay? So, especially when people are on a rush and they're rising, and Keanu Hoover is a good example of that, okay? Over the last kind of month, he's had two nice little spikes and jumps, and we picked him up at 106 right before the one he's on at the moment, okay? He's kind of petering out a little bit, he went up to, I think, 119, or 118, yeah, 119. And he's kind of, he's kind of plateauing out a little bit, okay? Sorry, I've got a mate chatting to me. Um... What is the motivation behind that surge, okay? Now, somebody like Key Yana Hoover um, it is going to be, you know, the, the anticipation of him potentially breaking into the Liverpool team. If he didn't break into the Liverpool team, he'd be a big transfer and it could be like a, a Pogba, Sancho kind of situation, you know, where he wants to go somewhere for first-team football, goes to somewhere else and does amazing, right? Um, Nicholas Pepe, similar kind of thing. And then you can go up down this list and you can, you can justify why people hold the player that you're talking about in question okay so let's get to the market movement we've had today okay now you've got to understand who you're in business with okay and the top of the decrease pile today is Matthias Delict so far the absolute poster boy of media madness he's been writing amongst it every day and when this is this promotion is finished and they release the figures for it I will be very surprised very surprised if he is not in the top three at an absolute minimum for dividends returned um, in this period because I think this is going to rumble on, okay? Now, when you look at this graph, it doesn't look like there's been any... You can see the little drop when they get knocked out of the Champions League there, okay? But see, when you actually examine the numbers, it's not too dissimilar to what's happened right now, okay? So if you look at that first blue spike there, it goes up to 309, and that is probably after the first leg where they won at Spurs, right? And then... The very next cycle, it drops down to a low of 271, right? So that's minus 38 pence, okay? So that tells you how, you know, you guys will probably know better than I, how much money in real terms that equates to to move the price that much, okay? And however many individuals that might be, well, it's undeterminable, but I, me and you, only the index will know that, okay? But that's a 30p slump on a fundamental real-world change. Ajax are not going to be in the Champions League final. 
they have been eliminated, okay? But it doesn't actually change anything about Matthias Delictus, such as just removes a treble match day from him uh, out of the season, which he would have otherwise had, okay? And again, today, we've dropped down. It says they're minus 29 pence, but if you look at the 24 hour, it says minus 30 pence, okay? Um, so again, we've had that same kind of movement, and it looks a lot more drastic when you zoom into seven days and 24 hours especially, okay? But in the grand scheme of things, this is not the end of this guy, you know, doing well on the index, okay? And I'll give you a few reasons for that. The main news, this is what the market's taught us, okay? The main news today is just that his agent is met with PSG, right? And however many people and however much money is flooded out with him as a result of that, okay? Fundamentally, what is really different to playing for Paris Saint-Germain under Thomas Tuchel or playing at Barcelona under Valverde or playing under Solskjaer at Man United. In terms of how you're looking to play football on a match day, there's not a distinct level of difference between, you know, they're all looking for young players to play attacking football, they're in a qualifying league. Uh, Barcelona have Champions League football, Man United Europa League, Paris Saint-Germain of course Champions League, okay. And what about their domestic setup? Man United have a very difficult domestic setup. Barcelona, marg you know, a good margin easier, and Paris Saint Germain even easier. Okay, uh, in terms of who they play against on a weekly basis and their likelihood to win their uh, respective league. Okay. So the fundamental change of him not going to Barcelona, who we see as the world brand, is top five club in the world in every metric you could think of, okay? So he's not going to go there. He's not going to go to England where he's going to get all the extra press, but he's going to go to Paris Saint-Germain, okay? Now, the only thing that you could really attribute that being a negative towards is the potential media exposure, okay? That Paris Saint-Germain will never get as much media attention as Man United or Barcelona, and that's a fact that I'm sure we're all prepared to accept, okay? But who else plays for Paris Saint-Germain who has had absolutely no issue with press, Second highest guy on the list and the third highest guy on the list, okay? Um, so these guys do not struggle, okay? Now, Mbappe is not a media magnet. Why is he so expensive? Because he scores goals all the time. He's so exciting. And when he leaves Paris Saint-Germain, whenever that might be, it is going to be to Real Madrid. It is going to be to Man City and Liverpool. It's going to be to a top, 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 top team. No two ways about it. Same with Neymar. If he was to leave for Paris Saint-Germain, there's only a, there's a small club of teams he could potentially go to. Matthias De Ligt. Ajax wins the league, wins the cup. Captain at 19, picking up caps for Holland. Everyone recognises him as the most exciting defender in the open market this summer by a long, by, by a long margin. Okay, And in the world football probably as well. When he leaves Paris Saint-Germain, who is he going to go to? The same list you would attribute to Mbappe easily. Okay, So... His potential on a match day to score goals, he is a goal scoring defender. If you do not think he's going to score less, if you think he's going to score less goals in France than he would in Spain or, Ma or uh, England, then you're crazy. And in terms of general performance, likelihood of winning uh, PB, it's not actually really that different. You know, the odds of him having a big match day. Paris Saint Germain beat teams like 7 0 <laughs> and stuff like this, you know. So he's getting plenty of passes away. Fair enough, he's not going to be tackling too much. I accept that. But if he was to score a goal or two, if it's a 7 0 game, who knows what's going on? Um, so, anyway, when opportunities like this open up, okay, and I, I do call it an opportunity quite deliberately, okay, so you can see there from 342 down to 312, it's a clean 30 pence slide we've had today. The only thing that needs to happen tomorrow is any of these news sources really saying PSG move in doubt or Man City enter the race or Man United come to the table, you know, any article that indicates that the, the, the saga is not over, he's not going to Paris Saint-Germain, then that price is 100% on the cards to be returned to, even the low there, 336, you know what I mean? Because the people who have dropped him, pardon me, dropped him, um, I've dropped him because it's not going to be the Man United Barcelona for the media madness for, you know, the, 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 the very short term gain. But the long term, it's not really changed, okay? So the, the title of the video and the main topic I wanted to discuss with you is what, you know, what has the market taught us, okay? The market has taught us in media madness, and, you know, this might be a one-off, okay? But in general, when things are media-driven, media-led, and even Felix is up there as well in the decrease list, and Ericsson, who's just been all about, you know, leaving Spurs, basically, has, then you are at a knife edge for things to plummet down because you will have a core base of customers in that person who are prepared to quick sell and to dump at the first sign of it's not going exactly the way they predicted, okay? And Football Index isn't about exact predictions all the time. It's about 
your general perception on someone. They will do well over time. They will get better. They will make a return. You know, whatever it might be. Okay. So always earn the side of caution, guys. Me personally, this is me just talking about me. Always earn the side of caution when it comes to players in that top category you know in terms of the highest pricing so we're looking at players really there's a top 20 yeah top 25 i probably got a top 30 i think oh, probably the top 50 wow this rate this market's got so expensive yeah really anyone over that two pound mark um you've always got to be very cautious over any sudden surge because the spread as we discussed in the, the video we did yesterday is deadly on these people so you do not want to be caught and again i use this expression very deliberately you do not want to be caught with your dick in your hands with the wrong person you've bought for the wrong reasons you've bought at the wrong time you've not watched them you've not tracked their price and you know don't get me wrong if you've been on delict i'm sure you've made money and you maybe sold them and made money and that's great don't get me wrong right but it's something you've always got to have at the front of your mind that the market can just move on you can look at people and if you were here last year you know about Adoy, you know about sancho you know about rashford these guys greenwood even as well it just seemed like they could not stop growing in price neymar pogba the same you know but there always comes a time where people cash out and the reasoning for that will vary on person to person, okay? But when it is completely transfer speculation driven in particular, but in general media driven, because um, the same thing happened with Jack Grealish and we get punched in the face and he was up in amongst, he didn't win media because it was a treble match day, you know, but it was in amongst the top five, I think, from memory. And then his price dropped down because, I don't know, Anyway, I digress, guys. I want to keep this video really short. I'm terribly sorry it's been for 11 minutes. If you're new around here and you've liked what we've discussed and how, what we've kind of had to try to chat about with you here today, and please like the video. It means a mu uh, so much to me. And on this one, guys, comments below. You know, what have you noticed in the market recently in terms of any sudden movements, any nice gradual movements that, you know, surprised you, you expected, whatever it might be. If you are new to the channel, of course, please subscribe. It means so much to me, guys. The last 24 hours I've had maybe even 48 hours, I've had some amazing feedback on some of the videos and honestly, words cannot describe how much, how good it makes me feel when I read that. I was up to one o'clock last night chatting with guys and answering comments and honestly, um, I'm just a bit of a night owl to be honest with you, but um, it, it means, honestly, it means so much to me. It means so much because I, I spend a bit of time doing these videos and I like to think I've got good things and interesting things to talk about, but to hear that it's actually benefited you in either an understanding of the index or even better, a financial um uh, way then it makes me super happy you've got no idea guys so thanks very much if you do find me on twitter like share retweet all that good stuff guys it means so much to me uh stay out of trouble and i'll catch you on the next one take care bye bye